and welcome to the TR Business 90 Second News Update. Here are this week's top stories. On Tuesday morning, the British government announced its support for a third runway at Heathrow. The scheme will now be taken forward in the form of a draft national policy statement. On the same day, Gatwick Airport's chief executive expressed his disappointment at the verdict and restated that the challenges facing Heathrow have not changed and that Gatwick stands ready to proceed when the time comes. Senior Lotto Group executives, including the company's chairman, Shin Dong Bin, have publicly apologised and expressed their regrets for any concerns caused by allegations that the company has embezzled millions of dollars in its dealings. As widely expected, and along with other executives at the company, Shin Dong Bin was recently indicted on charges of embezzlement and breach of trust, along with tax evasion and allegedly illegal deals. New data from travel and seat bookings analysis forward keys suggests that Chinese outbound bookings to Europe are 7.7% down over the period from November 2015 to October 2016. The Spain-based analysis says the terror attacks in France have frightened off visitors from China, with Paris down by 23.5%, while there have been knock-on effects for neighbouring countries Benelux, Germany and Italy. Finally, Korean duty-free sales in the first nine months of 2016 rose by just over 36% to $7.9 billion, according to official statistics. It is now a certainty that 2016 will represent another record sales year for the country's duty-free retailers, following the $8.1 billion generated by all operators last year. That's all for now. Thank you and goodbye.